What's going on guys, welcome back to 0 to 100k Forex funding episode 2. If you haven't checked out the first video, check it out. I mean, it's, it's probably a good place to start for getting to know me and the channel and what the plans are. But today's video is going to be, as it says in the title, we're going to be breaking down my exact strategy that I'm going to use to pass the, the 100k funding. So for anybody new, anybody trying to learn to trade, it's probably a good place to start because I'll break down some good information, some valuable information. So, um, just go grab a drink and we'll get into it. Swiss trade I've just entered, um, it's looking all right. Uh, it's just a pullback move. I'll break that down in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's looking quite decent. So that would be one point one point nine three percent. It's early days yet; yeah, anything can happen. But we'll we'll wait and see and see what happens. Right, we're back. We're back at the desk. Um, T acquired. US dollar Swiss. Pretty much did a break even. Not much has changed. Um, so yeah, let's break down, let's get to the charts and break down and start back testing the strategy I'm going to use. Um, should be pretty valuable for, you, valuable for you guys. So yeah, grab a drink, sit down, chill, and uh, let's get into it. Starts now. Um, we're on EuroCAD. We're going to be back testing from 2021. Um, a year's worth of data. And I'm going to be showing you exactly how I trade and what the system and style that I'll be using to pass this 100k funding. So if anyone wants to take any advice from what I, what I do, implement that into your own trading plan, then that that's good. I mean, that's what we're here to do to help as best we can. So quickly, I'll break down how I trade. Obviously, there's, there's a lot of detail to it. So I'm going to I'm just literally going to talk really, really quickly in, in a way. Like, I mean, if I was trying to fit in everything I do, it would be here for hours. So but pretty much I trade pullback moves and trend continuations. So if something's been going down or up, but let's say down for a while, it's overextended, let's say it's down like this. I'm looking for, because there's so many sellers in the market, I'm looking for profit profit taken from these sellers to, to for them to take their profit and look for a quick move. It's not, a, not a big move, but a quick move, just pullback. So I'll be looking for, to buy at these lows for a quick move. I'm not looking to push this, particularly high it's more a quick day trade it's in and out you can still get good risk reward but i'm looking to get in and out relatively quickly so i'm looking for these pullback moves and then i'm also looking for a trend continuation move so let's say something was going up like this we then broke down we then pulled back i'll be looking for the continuation to the downside where i would be capturing all of this so i this is these are the moves where i oh these are the moves where I would be holding for as long as possible because I'm with the trend. So, I mean, the diagrams aren't the best, but you get the gist. We're looking for overextended runs, and I can exp I'll show you when I'm back testing, but we're looking for overextended uh, runs on the daily time frame, and then I scale in to the lower time frame to look for, the, for an entry, and then I look for a trend continuation moves um, as well. So, that's pretty much how I trade. I mean, like I say, there's a lot more to it, but I'm just going to, I can't explain it all within this, this video. So let's just look for some opportunities. So again, we're looking for trend continuations and um, pullback moves. So let's see. Okay, so for example here, actually that we probably won't be overextended enough there. I want something clearly overextended. Okay, like this. Something like this, where we're quite clearly overextended. Want to look for key areas where we could be reversing from. I mean, that isn't the strongest bullish candle compared to how how much we've been going down. Um, but okay, I'll scale into the lower time frames. Now I want to look for a trend continuation on these time frames. So, where I, I trade London and New York, so I only look for entries during those hours. Okay, so for example, there we got some bull. Uh, Bullish momentum come in, stops below the lows, quick pullbacks. And then we'll be looking for the continuation. Okay, so that one would have stopped out. So what I would do is I'd write that down for a negative 1%. And people can do it, people can, you can log this data how you want. I'm quite old fashioned, I just write it down or like I, I type it in like a notion 
notion uh page i just write down exactly the trade the time um was it a win was it a loss and then after this year's worth of data i do this for a year i then work out the win rate i work out the um yeah your, your win rate how many trades you took everything like that so let's see i think i have about 55 percent win rate so this is the thing you, people can watch these videos and be like oh well you, you you lost i mean every successful trader probably has a win rate of well every, everyone's win rate's different but people traders don't win 100 percent of the time and if you are you're probably taking such small profits that you're not even you're not even making much when you win okay so again we're overextended again you can quite clearly see we're overextended so let's look for buys quick buys i want to look for a trend change on this okay here we go so we've broken out we've been in a downward trend we've broken out let's see if we can get a pullback okay here we go that's nice okay so once a trend has changed on the lower time frames that gives us confirmation that potentially we could be moving in that direction so we're looking for buys because we're overextended on the daily and now we're going to look for continuations but because it's a pullback move we're only looking for quick moves so put that there four hour we'd be targeting for about 1.5 just around that four hour 50 ma Let's see if this plays out okay yeah there we go so again risk reward 1.5 so i'd be up 0.5 percent so i'd drop that down like i say either on a piece of paper or um or a spreadsheet or however you want to do it but you just got to get the data okay again okay actually we might have missed that let's see we're overextended again so we're in an error for buys let's see if we get a entry we don't really get an entry all here potentially two o'clock new york we broke structure we've been in a downward trend we broke structure here closed above pull back to an error of value four out of 50 okay now i wouldn't be executing this trade because our target is this four hour 50 ema and we're only getting a one-to-one -one, which i don't like so i won't be taking that even if this this probably will end up playing out as well okay no it didn't but okay let's go again let's look for anything else okay we're back down in this area that's nice again quick trade again i can make a video on exact i don't want to explain take ages to explain exactly how i'm trading um like i said i'll be here all day but let's just break down this one again overextended we're in a downward trend quite clearly we're overextended um check the weekly are we an error value yes we are you can see that we're at a key area where we've reversed multiple times we've got a uh, bullish engulfing candle again overextended in a downward trend so we don't want to push this too far let's see if we get an entry nice that we've broken out we broke this high which is nice so trend change higher high made from a downward trend as you can see we've been clearly in a downward trend broken out making a higher high now look wait for the pullback okay five in the morning so i wouldn't be trading here is that eight nine yep so okay momentum's kicked in bullish momentum you can see all through asia we've been going down but the candles are so small and then as soon as london open we've got the momentum coming so let's stick that there again this could fail it could win again it's probability again 1.43 that's fine And that one would have lost. Let me try and find the trend continuation one because they're the ones where you make six, seven, eight, nine percent. These pullback moves are usually like one percent, two percent. Let's see if we can get a break. Here we go. Okay, something like that. Let's see if we get a break out, pull back. There we go, pull back. What time is that? Will I be up? Yeah, two in the afternoon. That's New York. And then target the highs for 3%. Okay, we're at 
see three percent so these trend continuations are what make your what make your a large proportion of your profit you can have a few losses you can have three four losses in a row but this one winner here for 3.44 percent is what <laughs> it brings your risk reward up and makes makes back the some of the losses and actually that would have been a pullback move here sometimes I accidentally click it too fast but yeah we're again overextended and up trend now looking for a quick exhaustion quick pullback let's see if we pull back yeah what time's at eight o'clock okay yeah BN looking for a sell stops above the high with broken structure which I like the downside been an upward trend broke structure broke below the one hour 50 EMA trying to look for momentum target again because it's a quick pullback again the risk reward isn't amazing but we can see how it reacts at the four hour see 1.4 percent okay yeah that just smashed through 1.4 percent so between these two what's that 4.8% and yeah so I won't I won't carry on and uh, bore everyone going individual trades but that's pretty much how I trade and what I'm going to be using um, I can go through some statistics I have about 55% win rate I have uh, my risk reward I don't go usually go below 1.5 again that's 1.4 but around 1.4 1.5 is my minimum so if I do have a few losses in a row which is natural it's completely natural going to happen um, my wins quite easily cover my losses and this is the strategy I'm going to be using to break down to to pass this uh, uh, this funded account I need to get 10% return um, so it's very doable and hopefully you guys are going to stay and watch and see if I can pass it. Let's just do this last trade because this looks quite nice if we can get a rejection. Okay, yeah. Let's see if we can decelerate. Let's see if we can get a breakout retest and see if we can continue this trend up. Okay, we've broken out. Let's just see if we can get a retest. Okay, yeah, we've come back down. Again, we broke structure here and here. What time is that? That's 10. Yep, so I'd be up. Let's just see. Be entering upon the bullish momentum, targeting these highs. Okay, that one would have stopped me out. But that's that's pretty much the strategy, guys. So even across there, which is a few months, we would have so negative one. So that's point about point five. Negative point five. About three percent, four percent. So around four percent, three four percent profit. I mean, I've just quickly added that up. Um, obviously, you'd calculate it properly, but around three four percent, and that's what it should be. It should be so slow, gradual growth. Remember, this is one pair. I trade twenty eight currency pairs, so naturally, if I can get even ten twenty percent return a year on one currency pair, if I have twenty eight to trade from, you're going to be getting some really good results. So yeah, um, that is that guys and now i think i'll probably be heading to the gym in a bit so i'll be i'll show you guys that and yeah let's get to the gym quick update guys on this us dollar swiss trade it is literally approaching target we are a few pips away so it's, it's very nice i can break this down in a bit more detail in another video if anyone wants that but yeah pull back move on the one hour um, pull back to the 4 hour 50 EMA so yeah it's looking nice I mean we're a few pips away from target so I will let you know how this plays out if you know I mean, gotta work for the both of us put you in the driver's seat gotta hurry in and in my love when you ride with me Just got back from the gym 
Um, good session, good chess session actually. Um, very much needed. So yeah, we're hitting PBs on that. So it's always what we like to like to see. Um, this US dollar Swiss trade from earlier, we're literally about to hit target. So I will show you that. Um, so overall, good day. 1.93 percent. Decent trade. They're the types of trades we need to to pass this, this funding. So yeah, I'll show you that now. Okay, guys, we're so close to hitting this profit target. Literally, we'll try and get it on film, but if not, I might just shut it down. For if I shut it down now, I would have what is it? One point, one point seven, one point eight percent. In fact, yeah, I'm just gonna shut it down now, to be honest. So we're coming towards the end of the day. So for the sake of a couple more pips, I may as well just close it out and chill. So yeah, pretty decent trade. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Um, check out episode three, that'll be coming out soon. I'm just gonna be, like I say, documenting this whole process and journey. So um, if you liked it, please like it and subscribe. Show, you, show people that are, you think would be interested. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.